Hey, how you doing today? It is a cold and wintry, blustery, rainy day here in Los Angeles today. And I don't feel like getting dressed. I feel like I'm just gonna stay in my favorite jammies and hang out with you. And I thought we'd do something a little different today. I thought we'd do our nails. I used to get my nails done all the time, professionally. And I kept wanting to get fancier and fancier and fancier. And every time I would get them done, I'd almost immediately get a professional job and I'd have to take off the nails that I just spent $65 for. So since the pandemic and all of the salons are closed, I've been doing press on nails whenever I do nails, but I've been getting them at the drugstore and the selection is not terrific. So I've looked elsewhere. Today we have a sponsored video and the sponsor is one of the companies whose nails I have been getting. The brand is called Majosi and they do lots of fun, different press on nails. They do press on toenails. They do nail polish. They have eyelashes. They have all your beauty stuff that you're going to need. And of course, I have a discount code for you. And I will drop that down below in the discount box. We'll get you $10 off a $30 purchase. So that's a nice savings. Anyway, today I am going to do a French tip, just sort of a, a classic simple length. I don't go for the real long coffin nails. I think they're stunning on women when I see them. But for myself, no. I can't do it. I'm way too busy with my hands. But this length is really livable and workable. And these are tipped with navy. And they also have a little silver glitter. And then some of them even have little rhinestones. So this would be a really expensive manicure. To get this manicure done in a salon would be a good 65, 70 bucks. And it lasts for two weeks. So we are going to apply them. Another product that Majosi has that I have not tried yet, but we will be talking about somewhere down the road in another video. They have all of these fun nail polishes. Yes, apparently they sent me a box where they're upside down. <laughs> Quality control, but they're in there. They look like little Russian nesting dolls, but as you can see, these are all my favorite colors. And what's really fun about this nail polish, it's actually kind of designed for kids. And I'm just a big kid at heart. This is removable with water. You just soak it off. So it's so non-toxic and that is very exciting to me. So gonna be playing with this. Who doesn't want fancy toenails? I will be applying these. I will show you the after product, but we're not gonna spend a lot of time studying my feet because I think it's a whole creepy element. <laughs> and, you know, I just, I love the idea of having really fancy toenails, but I don't wanna spend the money for really fancy toenails. So being able to stick them on, have them for an evening, wear them for a few days and then pop them off, pop them back into the box and reuse them later. Sounds real good to me. Also, I ordered some, some eyelashes from them. Look at how amazing these are. And we will be using these someday when I'm doing a big glam look. We'll do that real soon. But uh, these are way bolder than I usually go. And they're cruelty free. They're mink, but they're cruelty free. They are not killing the minks, they're not hurting the minks, they're taking the shedded hair of the minks. So, mink eyelashes that uh, should give quite a lot of pow. Okay, enough talking. Let's put some nails on, okay? Now, a lot of times I have used nail glue when applying my artificial nails, but I find them really difficult to, to remove. And I'm going to use the adhesive pads because I find them much easier to remove and reuse when I use the adhesive pads. You can see you get a lot of different sizes, so you can really customize them to fit your own hands. 
the first thing you're gonna wanna do is push your cuticles back, and it comes with a little cuticle stick. You're gonna take your cuticle stick and just give them a little push back. This is easiest if you've just come from a shower or a bath or soak your nails for a few minutes. Just give them a little push back. Keep that nice and clean. I'm going to use instead from my own manicure kit. The pushing the cuticles back really does make the nail sit a lot better on the nail bed. I'm gonna be really interested to see how it goes with the nail tabs. I've only ever used glue before. I've had tabs used on me by manicurists, but this will be the first time doing it myself. So you also wanna give your nails a quick little buff with the included little emery board, just to like rough it up a little bit. It really helps with the adhesion. You don't have to do much because you don't really wanna damage your nails. You just like give it a quick little zhuzh. And because you want to make sure that everything stays clean and sanitary all the time, it comes with a little alcohol prep pad. Just give everything a wipe. That way you're making sure it's sanitary and also there's no oils or anything that's going to help prevent adhesion. And you do the same thing whether you're gluing or whether you're using the adhesive pads. Now I have pre-selected my nails. I've pulled out the right sizes and lined them all up, both left hand and right hand. You can see there's still plenty more in the set. And then we just start taking our tabs, tab on the nail. sticky off and get the nail on. Just press it. And boom. Instant nail. And I will say, I do not know for fact if I am doing this right, if you should put the tab on your nail or the tab on your on the fingernail first. I put the little sparkly one right on here. Oh, that was a little crooked. This is why I like using the tabs more than the glue because I can reposition Get that just right and then press it down. I'm going to try putting one on the nail first. See how that works. Tab on the nail. Okay, maybe that's the way you're supposed to do it. That seems to work better. Okay. When I did the Justin Bieber music video for Yummy, the nail artist who did my nails use tabs and they really do remove much easier than glue on nails in my opinion. And I think this may be the better way to do it. Put the adhesive on the nail and then the nail on your own nail. It 
stretch that out. That seems to work. Take the piece off. in there. Get that all screws. Peel it off. And I always save my thumb for last because, well, I need my thumbs. We'll go there. And pull the tab. In just a few seconds to have a lovely French manicure with bling that would have cost 65 bucks at the nail salon. And now for the next hand. And you really can, if you like, I suppose you could just prep all of the nails once. That would be a handy way to do it, wouldn't it? Once you got the nails on, it gets hard to do. So we're gonna take the nail and we're going to take the glue, put a little adhesive, stick that adhesive onto the nail. And see, I made a little mistake. I got a little, the adhesive is sticking outside in the nail, so I'm just gonna correct that. Quite as new. I'm just gonna put that aside and wait. Let it have its adhesive on. And we'll put adhesive on this one. Adhesive on the nail, put that to the side. That'd be right. Adhesive on the nail. So I am not left-handed, huh? But get that adhesive on the nail there. That seems to be the right one. So that's definitely the easiest way to do it. See, I'm like discovering this as I go along. Put the adhesive on first. Then all you have to do is peel it. Yikes, come on, come on, come on. And 
line it up got our little extra blingy ones I saved that for the ring finger because you know there is never enough bling And then index finger. And these come off so easily. Literally what you do to remove them when they have the adhesive tag is you push really hard and it feels like it's going to take your nail but it just pops off it's so great i love the adhesive tabs because they actually remove so much easier than when i have glued nails on now the glue is great too but they seem to stay just as well and i love how they come off when it's time to remove them And that is how quickly you can have a full, fancy manicure that you would spend a small fortune for, and you do it yourself quick and easy. And you can see it's a fun way to get a lovely little pedicure, bling out those toes without the high expense, and that's about as much as I want to show you of my feet. <laughs> So it turns out the toes are even easier than the fingernails because they all come pre-tapped and who doesn't love something that's a little easier? <laughs> now, of course, I'm putting my socks back on because it's cold. Thank you very much for watching. I love you bunches. I hope you had a good time. And if you would like to try out any of the Majosi products, I have a discount code for you down below. You can save $10 on a $30 order and you can get exciting, glamorous nails anytime you like for a fraction of the price. Perfect for Valentine's Day or weddings or just as a pick me up on a cold, rainy day. I love you bunches. You have a great day. I'll talk to you very soon.